Welcome to episode 25 of Vampire Survivors like game in Unity. Acquiring passive item. Today we want to introduce acquiring passive items. Open passive items. Delete all the testing parts we have done. We don't need them anymore. Now enable the passive items in the inspector. Good. Now when we level up, we want our upgrades to be able to give us passive items. Let's make a new item acquire upgrade. We have upgrade type called item unlock. Inside the upgrade data, we need to reference the item we are going to acquire through the upgrade. Let's for testing reference armor. Good. Let's use some icon. I don't have any armor icons imported, so let's go get one from the game's icon net. Here, I got a few more icons. Good. Now when you acquire the upgrade, when you level up, if the type of selected upgrade is an item at lock, we want to add the newly acquired item into our passive items. Let's clean our open tabs and cache the passive items. So we will be able to interact with it. Now call equip. Good. With this we have the ability to add new items. But we only have weapon upgrade in the pool. So we need a way to add upgrades at the beginning of the play. Into the pool. Later on it can be based on, for example, your character you select or some other values or conditions. For now, we will just create a list of upgrades which is available on the start for every character. Then add those upgrades into the pool on the start. Inside the method to make sure we are not trying to add null list, make the null exit gate. Let's test this. Add the item unlock into the list of upgrades available on start. And then launch the game. Good, it works. The 
This episode is brought to you by generous support of people on Patreon and members on YouTube. If you want to join them, link to my Patreon in the description. And join button available right now on YouTube. If you join at $10 or more, you will get access to project files on Patreon. Now let's upgrade the items. First, let's move our item upgrade into separate folder. Open the upgrade data. Let's add the item stats so we can set what effects the upgrade will have on our item. Actually, our item stats are not encapsulated into class. So let's encapsulate them into one class for item stats. Mark it as serializable. Use encapsulated values. Back to the upgrade data. Create item stats so we can define how this upgrade affects the item. Good. Because we have changed the structure of variables in the item, our armor instance of the item will have zero armor value. So let's fix this. Now create armor upgrade instance. Set the value of armor by which we will increase the item armor value, icon and name. When we select upgrade for item, create and call upgrade item. Pass upgrade data. We need to change how we store the data about our passive items. Right now we store the reference to the scriptable object from the project of what item we have equipped. Instead we need to create a new instance of the item and then equip this new instance. And we want to create and call a new method called sum, which will sum up to stats classes. Then add item into the list. Now with these changes, we need to find the item we want to upgrade by using its name when we are trying to upgrade it. It is not very efficient approach to the searching, but it will suffice for now. You should look into optimizing this part later on in the future. And 
and add the upgrade value to the stats of the item. Then unequip item from the character. To subtract current stats of the item from the character stats, upgrade the item, modifying those stats of the item, then equip item back onto the character to add the upgraded uh, stats to the character. Good. This is out of the way we need to add available upgrades for items to the list when the item is acquired by played character. Create list of upgrades for the item. Reference the upgrade. Now in the level, add those upgrades into the list after acquiring the item. Let's test this. We have initialized the item stats, so we are trying to work with class which hasn't been initialized yet. Let's create new method inside item called init and inside initialize stats list and pass the item name. And now I forgot to set the item upgrade as an item upgrade. Sorry. Let's test this. Good. As you can see after getting the item we get 10 armor. And then when we upgrade it one more time it turns into 35 armor according to our upgrade and item stats. Good. To make it more clear, let's rename item unlock and weapon unlock into item get and weapon get. You unlock stuff in global progression. 
you equip or get or acquire it in the gameplay. Check that everything is correct. Good. This is it for this episode. Special thank you to each May, this old Hajdu, Andrew Vilong. With best regards, see you in the next episode.